Well, change is on the way for a North Portland street that's notorious for bad crashes. The stretch of road is North Columbia Boulevard, specifically between North Bank Street and North Macram Avenue. Now the city of Portland is planning to accept a $1.5 million grant from the state to make some big changes. Fox 12's John Hendricks spoke to a woman whose son was hit by a truck on that street and has her reaction to the new plans. John? Well, when one of their concerns has always been speed out here on North Columbia, the speed limit 40 miles an hour. Now that family who lives several blocks away from here knows all too well the dangers of this road and their happy change is finally coming. August 30th, 2016 is the day Esperanza Trujillo doesn't forget. He was so excited that day to go to school. The memory still fresh in her mind. Bradley was revived at the scene by passerbys. Her son Bradley Fortner was headed to school that day, his first day of freshman year. He was hit crossing North Columbia Boulevard by a Nissan pickup. Over the last two and a half years, he's been recovering. Two years later, and you probably would never know anything happened to him. I mean, really, unless you were to talk to him and he got kind of tongue-tied on a couple things, you would never know. Also in that time, a project was started to make this stretch of road safer. Piedmont is working to do several things, like put in a flashing crosswalk signal at Bank and Columbia and traffic islands on the boulevard at Midway and Oregonian. The Portland City Council is set to accept a $1.5 million state grant to help fund the project this Wednesday. Peabot already has $650,000 earmarked. All of this news, something Trujillo is happy to hear. I cried when you contacted me about that because... It's not going to help Bradley, but it can definitely help somebody else's family out in the long run. I would never want anyone to have to go through what we went through as a family. She is thankful for those who have helped them over the last few years. She says police weren't able to figure out who was at fault in her son's crash, but her message to the driver who stayed on scene, one of forgiveness. We're not mad at you. We don't have any hard feelings towards you or anything like that or ill will, but we just want you to know, like, we forgive you. Accidents happen. Adding the goal now to see that no other families have to go through what they endured since that August day in 2016. I'm just happy to know that something's going to be done so this doesn't happen to another family. It could save lives. Now, Portland City Commissioners are set to take up that grant on Wednesday. Now, if all goes according to plan, they expect to start this project in the fall. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.